Jeez. Well, just before we, we dive into some activities yep. here, when we were discussing, having a conversation last night, yep. you, you told me something very interesting that was the way your kind of working memory or short-term memory works <laughs> kind of lends <laughs> it. <laughs> means that you almost rely on these methods yourself to yeah. understand things. Can you yeah. just uh, dig into that a little bit? Um, I have, as we discussed, I think I described to Louise Pennington that I have a working memory the size of a, a, a gnat's toe. I decided a gnat was too big and that's head was too big. So a gnat's toe is about the size of my working memory. As I was talking earlier, my wife, my poor wife struggles with me the whole time because uh, it's interesting that the phonological loop they talk about. So when my wife starts talking to me, the first six words, they come in and I, I process those so slowly, I don't have time to get them. So I pick up the other words. So I'm continually saying to her, sorry, what did you say? And she'll say the first six words. And I'll say, stop there, I've got it. So I have no working memory. Um, so if I'm reading or doing anything at home, I have three computers up. So if I've got a document up, I'll read an idea there. Then I'll have the same document, go back to another point. I need to have the two points in front of me. Because when I've read that one, I go over there, it's gone. Oh, really? Yeah, so there's no working memory, there's nothing there. I can't find my way around without my wife or sat nav either. There's a whole yeah. load of issues. I mean, we just got lost coming back from the toilet. <laughs> yes, yeah, but that was your fault, was not mine. Possibly, yeah. <laughs> Jeez, and how did that kind of manifest itself when you were learning maths? Is that why you think you didn't You didn't. <laughs> I didn't maths? learn maths, that was, that was the whole thing, because everything relied upon rote memorization. Yeah. That is something I cannot do. I didn't learn my times tables. I was, I think, 15 years old. Jeez. Um, but now, like, if I, if somebody says to you six sevens, do you know it's 42 from, is that just in there like it would be yes. perhaps for me? Or are you visualizing? Both. It? Oh, right. <laughs> um, because I've, I've spent so much time working with equipment that if you ask me a simple thing, it's like six plus seven. I know it's 13, but I also have pictures of egg boxes, 10 frames, wreck and wrecks, really? and they, they all flash in front of my eyes as well. So I, I see, this is why I love, um, what's his name, Barclay Everett? Oh, right, okay. Yeah, Maths Visual. This guy sees maths the way I see it, and he's, he's making these wonderful videos online, which I'm going to be using a lot at school. So I, I see maths I, I, in pictures. And we're going to dig into these um, mm. approaches, but is, is, is this where it came from, from you, out of it, thinking, well, I need this. This is yeah. what I need to understand it. Yeah. So it's probably going to be the same, but it's got to help students if it helps yeah, me. Yeah, and, and if you talk to special needs teachers um, who teach people with dyscalculia or dyslexia, all the methods that we use, they absolutely love, and that's they're being told to do that this day. So the idea is it will work for people with difficulties, and of course, therefore, it's going to work for everybody yes. and make it easier. Right, well, you've teed us up here, Bertie. We're going, okay. to have to, we're going to have to dive into something. So I, and this, for the benefit of the audience, I'm going to flipping clue what's about to happen here. <laughs> um, I've no idea what activities. We shall be giving what... you things to do, Craig. <sighs> <laughs> so I wish I had something stronger than water, but 